Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. I've been having a free challenge in the Learning EQ group on creating an advent calendar quilt. And one of the blocks I have presented is hang a Christmas stocking. Let me share with you a few tricks for decorating this stocking and using a log cabin block and adding your name. Okay, I've opened my Advent Activity Calendar file and I'm going to start by doing a search for block patterns. And that's going to take me to the EQ Block Library and I'm going to do a search by note card and I'm going to put in stocking and select search. And as I was hoping, there are some Christmas stockings and I'm going to select the stocking with polka dots and select edit to block work table. Now this is a combined polydraw applique and I'm going to go to the applique and I'm going to use the pick tool and I want to delete all of the polka dots. So I think I'm going to delete the heel as well and for this one I don't want to delete the toe so once I have done that I'm going to add this to the project sketchbook. Now I want to start doing some additions to this stocking. The first is I decided I wanted to put a log cabin block in the actual uh, main portion of the stocking. So I am going to do a uh, new block pieced easy draw block and I'm going to do a six by six I'm going to do my snaps at six by six so that will be every inch and I'll turn my graph paper on and my snapping option will be only snap to grid and so this is a traditional log cabin so I'm just going to uh, start from the outside and work in which is what I like to do, do on log cabins and then I can color it and I decided to put some greens on the left and some reds on the right and then I'm going to add this to the project sketchbook then I'm going to create a variation with serendipity so I'm going to do a new block create serendipity and I'm going to do a shrink and flip I'm going to find that last block and I'm going to select the first rotation option and select add to sketchbook and then I will close now I'm going to view my project sketchbook find that last serendipity block select edit and I'm going to now change this to a 12 by 12 and go to the color and I will select fussy cut to change the placement of some of the fabrics and then I'm going to go to uh, print and export do an export image and I'm just going to call this log cabin serendipity now I want to uh, turn off outline patches and outline blocks because I'm going to want this to look more like fabric and I am going to change the size to 12 by 12 so I can have the same uh, fabric placements that I've got in this diagram so I'll select OK now I'm going to go to the image work table and select import image and I'm going to go to my advent series and I'm going to find my log cabin serendipity block and select open now I want to do a scale fabric and I am going to um, change this to two inches so I'm going to select two select apply scale it is going to shrink it but it's going to shrink all of the fabric as well and so now I'm going to select uh, add to sketchbook but more importantly I'm going to add as fabric now I can go back and view my project sketchbook find the stocking block select edit go to the color tab 
and my last fabric should be my uh, log cabin fabric. So let me finish coloring this and I'm going to add this to the project sketchbook. Now what I decided was I would like to put my name on this. So I am going to go ahead and create a new applique motif with my name. So I could either draw all the letters or I can take some from the library. So I'm going to do a new block, do an open library, and I'm going to go to, uh, I think it's in motifs, I'm going to select alphabet, so I'm going to select the capital A and select Add to Sketchbook and repeat with the small A, the small R, and the small I. And I'm going to close. Now I'm going to view my project sketchbook, go to the motifs, take my capital A, and select Edit. And I'm going to use the Pick tool and I'm going to select this one and I'm going to, from the menu toolbar, select Edit Copy. And then I can just figure out where I want to combine everything. I think I'll just do it with the A. Select Edit. And I'm going to do an Edit Paste. And let's do some resizing. So I will select Resize. And I'm going to think I'm going to do about 20% horizontal and vertical. And so I've got that. I'm going to select all of my A's and do a resize for 20% on that as well. And I can add to the project sketchbook. Now I'm going to view my project sketchbook, take the R and select Edit. With the Pick tool, select it all, do an Edit Copy, View Project Sketchbook, take the KA, select Edit, do an Edit Paste, Resize to 20%, and then I can view my Project Sketchbook, take the I, I definitely want to save that, select everything, Edit Copy, now I'm going to take the KAR block, select Edit, and do an Edit Paste, and resize that at 20% as well. Now I'm thinking I'm going to try to line up my letters with the bottom of one of the um, graph paper lines. So once I've got that done, I can select everything and I'm going to select Edit Copy and now I'm going to view my project sketchbook and I'm going to go to the Blocks tab and take my stocking block and select Edit. And I am going to save this because maybe I will want to use that again. Okay, I'm going to go to the Applique tab and select Edit Paste. And now I have to decide what additional resizing. Let's try 80% horizontal and vertical. I think that's going to be good. So I'm going to use the Control key, select the center, which is going to allow me to do a rotate. No, that's not small enough yet. So let's do an undo. And instead, I will do another resize, maybe another 80%. And now I can rotate and fit that in the cuff. So now I'm going to go to the Color tab and finish coloring the block. And I can add that to the project sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com. And while you are there, check out my other electric quilt training opportunities, including the Techno Quilter program, which allows you to truly master electric quilt in 10-minute videos received 
12 times a month.